Live! Hi folks and welcome to Open Analysis Live AMA where we answer your reverse engineering questions. If you like this kind of stuff, go check out our Patreon. Lots more reverse engineering content there. With that, let's get into it. The thing about Brazil and Delphi actually is, yeah, we all meme about it, but we meme about it because it's true. And <laughs> what is also funny about that is a lot of Brazilian malware, besides being written in Delphi, they also work in a very Brazilian way. Let me put it like this. Uh, Brazilians are... Uh, we are people that like doing things for chaos and chaos alone. So normally what a sane malware developer would do is try to hide the fact that it's malware. Not Brazilians. I've <laughs> I've I've dealt with a uh, an specific banker that Kaspersky calls Javali and other people call Ozaban. And there's a reason for that name there is a, that's also very Brazilian. But the way they they used to do the the first stage was they had this DLL that downloaded the final payload. And yeah, instead of oh let's try to be stealthy or anything, no, the the export you want to look at is obvious because it's the one with either an in uncomfortable amount of sexual comments or <laughs> incredibly racist stuff or both. <laughs> so, yeah. And fun fact, the thing is called Oza Ban because, well, Ban from Banker and Oza from a Brazilian word that's Oza Gia. That means, uh, it means to be bold and but old banker. it's has actually yeah it's it's being bold but it actually has like a sexual thing to it and it has <laughs> that name because not only did the malware is still banking credentials it also downloaded a ungodly amount of porn in any machine it infected and the porn served absolutely no purpose it wasn't <laughs> steganography or anything like that it just downloaded porn because why the hell wouldn't it so yeah that's that's brazil for you <laughs> all right seems good when the, my first year when i was working at gdata i was just a junior analyst and i had like yeah usually had something running on my um machine where i do the dynamic analysis, so I fired up some ransomware that seemingly didn't do anything, went to lunch, came back, and uh, then it was full of porn, and then my boss came into the room. So <laughs> it was like, what are you doing, Karsten? <laughs> I, I got a porn story as well. More um, porn story! Uh, so Clip it. when I was a... <laughs> And try to keep my composure. You mentally prepare uh, yourself. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. I got a poor story too. So, so when I was a junior analyst, like I, I, I started as a um, like a regular regular SOC analyst, and so I'm working, working, and sometimes we'd alert cl clients or whatever about like these um, like you know, employees visiting things they shouldn't at work, like a policy violation or something if they asked for it, right? Um, but the, the customer calls me up and says, you know, I need to know like the list of those, you know, porn domains on, you know, there. So he said that I would need to spell them out oh, no. and say them. And I had to repeat these domains <laughs> verbally to him. <laughs> over the phone in front of the entire floor of analysts i was beat red <laughs> because the mail apparently isn't the same <laughs> everyone was basically holding holding and trying to hold his laughter but they couldn't <laughs> um so it was uh 
Um, one of them was Brazilian farts triple X dot com or something. It was so bad. <laughs> was this like hazing? Did they just do this to everybody? I'm like, you know, early in the job, they'd like have the same company call up and do this because that would be amazing if so. I'm sure he was probably ripping on me, but I had no choice but to say it because, like, it was my job. <laughs> Jesus. Delightful. Oh, yeah, it was, uh, yeah, that's that's the porn story. And to this day, people that I know where I work there will bring that up whenever I see <laughs> This is going to so. haunt you forever. Well, I might as well get it out now. Yeah, fair enough. I can actually, I, can, I actually have a story that combines many of the things we've already heard about, which is Brazilian developers, porn, and Delphi. So, um... Ah. At one point, I was uh, working on um, MBR lockers. And the reason I was working on MBR lockers is because of the Ukraine conflict, actually. Because there were a few, or, or was a COVID theme, one of the big crises of 2022. Um, so there were a few MBR lockers floating around and people wanted to get more, like, wanted to triage a few clusters and families and figure out what is doing what. Never mind, I was looking into MBR lockers. And one of them was particularly nasty like both in language and um graphics and i was like who are you what what is wrong with you and i i i basically like i researched this this malware developer who turned out to be a brazilian developer and i i'm not even sure anymore whether they are really whether i can call them a malware developer because the the samples of them that i found online they were just it's essentially pranks and one of them is the halloween sample oh no way killer. so one of the that's... things they wrote is the stream killer um that, that's by them and they have a ton more crazy weird shit written in delphi and the mbr lockers are actually the only thing that is not written in delphi like the, most of the stuff is just weird stuff in delphi and two of them have no other purpose than when you run them, it locks your screen in a perpetual porn scene. And the <laughs> and they it's nothing else. It doesn't do anything else other than lock you out of your computer and just keep playing a porn scene on repeat. There's no other purpose to it. So this is um maybe a nice summary of pure chaos. So that wraps it up. Big thanks to our panel of experts. You can go check out their socials here. Thank you very much. And if you guys want to see more reverse engineering content like this, in-depth tutorials, live streams, your questions answered, go check out our Patreon. Lots more stuff like that there. And stay tuned for the next question.